Hello guys, this is Rahul and in today's session we are going to talk about Terraform and AWS Lambda. So today we are going to focus on what is AWS Lambda and how we can use AWS Lambda along with the Terraform. In the latter half of the session we will perform a demo where we will create a AWS Lambda function using Terraform. But before we begin, I just like to mention a few points uh, about the AWS Lambda. AWS Lambda works with the different programming languages such as Java, Python, Go or Node.js. And there are many other programming languages which supports the AWS Lambda. But for today's session, just to keep the things simple, I'm just going to use Python and we are going to create one very simple hello world program with the python and then we are going to use the terraform to implement our aws lambda function let's switch over to my desktop and start with our terraform and aws lambda before we actually write a terraform configuration it's really necessary to understand the flow of a Terraform along with the AWS Lambda. So here on the screen, you can see uh, on the left hand side, I have written some programming languages. So these are some of the programming language languages which is supported by AWS Lambda. But there are many programming languages which is supported by AWS Lambda. But here I have taken Java, Python, Go and Node.js, which I felt it like these are the most popular one and which are quite commonly used uh, with the AWS Lambda. But for today's session, we are going to just concentrate on a Python. But all the concepts which we are going to see into the today's session with Python are going to be pretty much same for the Java, Go, Node.js or any other programming languages which you want to use with the AWS Lambda. If we start from the left hand side, then we are going to uh, supply a Python code along with our Terraform code. So here I have just taken a code example or the code file, but this code file means there will be a main.tf that is going to be your main Terraform file along with a Python code that could be a hello world.py or whatever Python program you are about to write. So once you write the Terraform code along with your Python code, then you need to zip the Python code, not the Terraform code. Uh, just keep this point in your mind. So whenever you work with the AWS Lambda, then you need to zip your code. So if you are working with the Python or Java or Go or whatever programming languages, then you need to create a zip file of your uh, actual code. So today we are going to work with a very basic hello world Python code. So we are going to zip that py or the Python file. And then after zipping that particular file, we are going to upload it to the AWS Lambda using Terraform. And once that file is uploaded, then you can execute the AWS Lambda function to get your desired result. So this is the typical flow uh, of our AWS Lambda function along with your Terraform. Uh, moving further, uh, here I have taken one screenshot, uh, which I, I'm going to show you into the demo. But this is the kind of uh, output which we will be expecting from our AWS Lambda function and uh, this is just a hello world uh, which I, I a message which i want to return it from my python code now the next question is how your python code gonna look like so this is a very basic python code and here i have defined a function that is lambda underscore handler and i have passed two parameter that is event and context and here i'm just trying to return at line number four you can see i'm just trying to return a message so this message is pretty simple it's a it, it is a string and it is returning just an hello world and here i have taken a key one which i'm just going to explain uh, once i give you the demo so this is a key it's just like a message which we will be passing uh, to this aws lambda function so but that we will go we'll gonna see into the demo the next thing uh, before we jump into the demo which i would like to show you is my project structure so this is a screenshot which i have taken uh, from my visual studio so here you will see this is my main.tf that is main terraform file and since we are working with the python that's why i have created a one more directory called python just parallel to main.tf and inside that python file you will find a hello-python.py which contains our python code and our terraform uh, our terraform code will be responsible for creating this zip file so once we execute our terraform code then this zip file will be created and our aws lambda function which we are going to write inside our terraform file will be responsible for uploading this zip file onto aws and once that zip file is uploaded to aws then aws lambda will be responsible for executing our lambda function 
So this is a typical flow of our AWS Lambda when you work with the Terraform. Next thing, what are the elements which we need to define inside our main.tf or the main Terraform file? So there are five elements which you will be needing uh, to implement your AWS Lambda. So the first thing which you need is IAM role. Second, you need a IAM policy. Third, you need a IAM role and policy attachment. So whatever role or whatever policy which you have created, uh, you need to attach that role and policy. So that's why you need a role and policy attachment. And in that role and policy, you can define like what kind of a role you want to assign it to that AWS Lambda uh, and etc. So uh, just read the AWS role and policy documentation if you want to do some very specific things with it. Okay, the next thing is the data block. So here I have, uh, I'm using the archive file. So what it does is it creates a zip file. So you don't need to create a zip file manually. So Terraform will take care of that part. So you just need to write your Python code or if you are using Java, then just use, uh, just write your Java code. So uh, just write your Python code and save it with the .py file and uh, use the data block of Terraform to create a zip file so that you can upload it to AWS. So this data block will be responsible for creating your archive file that is going to be a zip file in our case. The fifth and the uh, most important one is the AWS Lambda function. And here you will going to define the actual AWS Lambda function inside your main.terraform file, which we are gonna see the next. Now switching to my ID, and here you can see on the left hand side, this is my project structure. And as I have explained to you, this is my main.tf file, uh, which I have opened over here. Uh, this is the main.tf file and on the left hand side in the project structure you will find a python directory and inside that python directory i have created a hello-python.py and once you open then you will find the same hello world function which i have written inside my python file okay now coming back to main.tf we will go through each element one by one and see what you need to define inside those elements Starting with the first element that is provider block, uh, since we are working with the AWS, that's why we need to define a AWS provider block. And if you're working with the Google, then you need to define the Google provider block. But here I'm using AWS, so that's why it is AWS. Uh, the region, it just depends upon your geographical location where you are, so just choose what is nearest to you. In my case, I have chosen EU Central 1. Second, you need to define the credentials for AWS. Uh, since we are uh, working with the AWS, then you need to set the access key as well as the secret key. And if you have already installed the AWS CLI, then you don't need to hard code the access key and the secret key inside this provider block. You can just simply refer or you can just pass the path of your AWS credential location, uh, file location, and that will uh, take care of your access key as well as the secret key. But if you are just doing it for development purpose, then you can just simply uh, remove this shared credential file and use the access key as well as the sec uh, secret key, and you can just simply hard code it over here. The next element which we are going to take is the AWS IAM role. So this role is going to be pretty simple since we are working with the AWS Lambda. That's why we are going to define a service that is Lambda Amazon AWS.com. So this is the role which we are going to create for our AWS Lambda. The next element is the IAM policy. And now we have created the IAM role. I'm going to create a IAM policy. The name of the policy is IAM policy for Lambda. And this is the user defined policy name. So you can keep any policy name of your choice. It depends on your preference. Uh, same goes with here in the role also. Uh, I forgot to mention that the role is user defined. So here you can choose any role of your choice. So just keep in mind, we are going to use this AWS Lambda name, this Lambda role, as well as uh, this policy name uh, inside our attachment block. But here, this is my policy. And here, uh, since we are creating a Python AWS Lambda, so we will be creating some, some log groups, log stream, as well as some log events. Because we once we execute our AWS Lambda, then we are just going to uh, see the output on the logs, as well as the return message. So that's why I have created this uh, uh, IAM policies for log group as well as the log string. Okay, so now after creating the IAM role as well as policy, next we need is policy attachment block. So in here, we are just doing simply an attachment. We are just attaching our role along with our policy. So these are my custom 
policy as role as well as policy so this block will simply define like how to attach your role along with the policy now after defining the role policy and role and policy attachment block the fourth block which we are going to see is the archive file block uh, this is a data block and this block is responsible for creating the zip file which we need to upload it to aws lambda so the name of the file which the name of the zip file is going to be hello-python.zip and here you can see the python zip file doesn't exist yet because uh, terraform will be responsible for creating this zip file so here you need to define the type of file which you need to create so here we are creating a zip file then you need to define the source like where our code exists so here the code exists inside my python directory and the output will be a zip file so again the zip file will be created inside the same python directory along with our python code so that is the uh, responsibility of our data block inside my Terraform file. Moving to the last element that is going to be the important one that is AWS Lambda function. So how you need to define uh, AWS Lambda function inside your Terraform file. So first of all, uh, you need to mention where your zip file is. So this is the element that is file name. And here you need to mention the complete path where your zip file exit exists. So uh, my zip file exists inside my Python directory. So uh, once I'll show you like once I execute Terraform uh, plan and apply command, then here the zip file will be created inside the Python directory. But here you need to mention the exact path uh, so that it can find that particular zip file. Next function name uh, that is a user defined function name. So you can keep uh, whatever name of your Lambda function. It's up to you. Third role. So here I have defined, uh, I have created this role, uh, if you remember. So if you go back to the top, then this is Lambda role. So I need to mention that role name over here uh, inside my AWS Lambda block. So here I have mentioned that name. Uh, the next element is the handler and this is the important one because I have also faced issues uh, with this So this is a little bit special. So here you need to be you need to be very careful with the name So here I have used the first name that is hello Python and this is going to be the actual name of your file So here I have created the Python file and the fi name of the file is hello dash Python So this name should match with your file name Second, uh, your function name, which you have created inside your Python file. So if you open your Python file, then you will find Lambda handler. So whatever name you have defined inside your uh, Python file, you need to use the same name over here inside the handler. So that is the important thing uh, which you need to be really careful. The next thing you need to define the runtime since we are using Python. So I have used Python 3.8. Uh, it's up to you, whatever Python version you want to use. You can just simply mention over here. And then finally, the depends on. Uh, so here I have defined the attachment role and policy attachment block. So this is the name of my uh, role and policy attachment uh, block. Uh, so here you can see. This is the name which I have used over here. So these are the elements which you need to create your AWS Lambda function. So just uh, mention these names correctly inside your AWS Lambda function so that you, know, you don't face uh, such issues. And finally, you can see some output blocks, but these are optional. So if you need and if you want to see some output once you execute your Terraform apply command, then you can just create this output block. Otherwise, it, these are completely optional. It's up to you how you want to write your main Terraform configuration. Now we have gone through the concepts and the code uh, of our Terraform along with the AWS Lambda. Let's see some uh, uh, AWS Lambda in action. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to open a terminal and switch to the directory uh, where your code resides. So just check with the command ls and here you can see my main.terraform file is there. So the first command which I need to run is terraform init. And uh, if this is the first time you're executing this code, then you need to run this terraform init command. Otherwise, you don't need to run it again or multiple number of times. So once you execute uh, the terraform init command, the next command which I'm going to run is terraform plan command. And if you look careful here, then here a zip file will be created. So here you can see the zip file has been created. 
So uh, that's why uh, we have used the data block over here because this data block will be responsible for creating the zip file. So once you execute the Terraform plan command, then the zip file will be created. You can clear it. And after that, you can run the Terraform apply command. And I forgot to mention you, there are four resources which, which are going to be created. So here you can see the four resources it is going to add because this is the first time we are running this AWS uh, Lambda function. And then simply type yes. And it might take a couple of minutes to create the AWS Lambda. All right, so now our AWS Lambda has been created. Let's switch over to our AWS console on a browser and see our Lambda. So this is my AWS dashboard. So in the search box, uh, you need to type Lambda. And click on this Lambda option over here. And that will take you to the page where you can see the Lambda functions which you have created. So that is my J-hook Lambda function which we have just created using the Terraform. So just simply click on it. And this will open a page where you can see your Python code which you have written. So here you can see uh, this is our Python file which we have just uploaded uh, using Terraform. So this is my simple uh, Lambda handler or a Python function which will just return me the message. And I have explained to you the key one uh, I'll show you later into the demo. So uh, here we need to create a test event. So what does it mean by test event? So you need to define uh, use cases where you are going to pass some parameter. And in those parameter, we are going to use this key one. All right, so for that, what you need to do is configure a test event and here uh, create an event name. Uh, so you can say my test event one. Okay, so this is just a name. Uh, it has nothing to do. It is just a consider this as an use case. Okay, so now here you need to pass the parameter as a JSON format. So here I'm using only the key one inside my uh, Python function. So that's why I will remove the key two and key three. I'll remove these two. And here uh, the value of the key one here, I'm just going to write my message. So here I can write like, hello world from AWS Lambda. Okay, and after that, you can just simply click save. And then you can just click on test event. And here you can see this is the output which you have got. Hello, hello world, AWS Lambda. So this is how you're gonna execute uh, your AWS Lambda function once you create those AWS Lambda. So this was a very basic example which I have taken to explain like how the Terraform and AWS Lambda works. And I have just taken an example of a Python. But uh, those concepts are pretty much same and applicable to other programming languages also. So if you are using Go or Java, then use the similar concepts and create your own Java or a Go file and upload that uh, file into the form of zip to the AWS Lambda. And then AWS Lambda will take care of it. I hope you liked the today's session on Terraform and AWS Lambda. And if you have any question related to the today's session, then please put down into the comment section. I'll try to get back to you. Also into the description section, you will find the GitHub repository link where I have already shared the same code which I have used in the today's session. Also, I have shared my GitHub repository link. So where I have already shared the same code which I have used into my today's session. So go check out my GitHub repository there. And if you are interested into the similar content on DevOps, then please do consider subscribing to this channel. And also you can find me on web with the name jhook.com and also share the link of my website into the description description section. So if there you will find the similar guides which I generally use into my sessions. See you into the next session of a Terraform or DevOps. Till then, take care and bye-bye.